Hello guys. Now we are going to see another problem on projection of lines. In earlier video, we have seen when line is inclined to both the planes and having its inclination with horizontal plane and vertical plane. Now in this problem, the distance between the end projectors is given. So first of all, we'll take down this data in terms of notations. So we have been given projectors of line AB are at 50 mm. A dash is given 10 mm above XY. A is given 20 mm below XY. B dash is given 50 mm above XY. And point B is given 75 mm below XY. So we will start with the XY line first. Now we can draw the two end projector lines which are given at a distance of 50 mm each. So we can draw two lines here, two projector lines at a distance of 50 mm and on the first projector line we can mark point A dash which is given 10 mm above XY line and point A 20 mm below XY line. We get two points A dash and A. Similarly we can project point B dash and point B on its projector line. B dash is given 50 mm above XY line. So at a distance of 50 mm from XY line we get locus of point B dash and that point becomes B dash on projector line. Similarly point B in top view will be at a distance of 75 mm. So we get locus of point B as well. Now you have direct point A dash and B dash and AB. So you can join this both the points with the help of dark line. So that would be the front view line and when you are joining point A and B that would be the top view line. We have been asked to draw the projection and get the true length and true inclination with respect to both the planes. Now to get the inclination with both the planes we must mark the true length first. We can have here plan length from point A which will be parallel to XY line because the plan length is equal to top view length in measurement. So by taking point A as center and AB as the radius, draw an arc from point A. Here you get point B1 and this length is called plan length. If you project this point B1 vertically upwards in front view till the locus of point B dash, you get directly point B1 dash. And if you join this B1 dash with the point A dash, you get the true length in front view. Now you can measure the angle of true length in front view. That angle would be angle theta. Now by having this true length in compass, you can take point A at center and you can cut an arc on this locus of point B. So you get the arc on the on the locus of point B. That is point B B2 and join this point B2 with point A that is a true length in top view. Now you can measure the angle made by this true length in top view. This angle will be angle phi. After measuring this true length and the angles theta and phi, you can check your answers. The true length is given 84 mm, theta is 28 degree and phi is 41 degree. So this is one kind of problem on projection of lines when distance between the end projectors will be given. We will try to cover more problems on this projection of lines. So keep practicing and thanks for watching.